Welcome back to AM Northwest. AI is revolutionizing the workplace. Here to share how it can expand our capabilities, create new job roles, and increase opportunities for development, we welcome back executive coach and leadership development strategist, Dr. Carol Parker Walsh. Good to see you again. I've always Good to see you too. I think of AI as something negative, but you say this is a real positive thing that we can use to help us at work. Absolutely, it is positive. I mean, you want to think of AI like, you know, a robot who is your coworker, your marketing content writer, your resume writer, your, you know, anything that you would need in the moment, it can really be a supportive tool to just augment your own capabilities. So whenever you feel stuck or overwhelmed or looking for that starting place, you know, AI can really be supportive in that way. There are some caveats that we'll talk about, but there are definitely some benefits to it as well. Okay, let's touch on how can it help with productivity? Well, for the most thing, for the most part, as I said, you know, if you're using either ChatGPT or Gemini or Microsoft Copilot or Claude, those are some of the more common generative AI tools. Um, you find one that really suits you best. But if you are needing to write a report or something massive, and you are just stuck in terms of how do I organize my thoughts. Um, what are some of the key points that I should make sure that I mention in this report? I mean, things that you pretty much may have an idea around, but you're just having some problems getting stuck. And this is an example of how you can use it. So you, prompts are really key with uh, generative AI. So for example, I gave it a very clear prompt about writing a concise quarter one report around increased revenue and productivity, specifically in the construction industry. And it spit out, here are some kind of things that you want to think about. It gave me a title and an outline for it. It gave me the executive summary, you know, the, the review growth plan, just some thing, key things that I want to think about. Now, notice it didn't write the report, um, but it just said, here's some things you may want to think about in terms of including in your report. So it helps to expand your ability to be able to make sure that you are hitting all the key points that you need to. That is also something that you can use in marketing as well, right? Oh, absolutely. In fact, one of the key prompts you want to give to um, AI is to say, you know, act like a marketing person and give me something that's going to really help with my marketing campaign. In this example, I asked it to create an image of a woman using a tool because we wanted to do a marketing campaign that's appealing to more women. And it created an image for me. It actually created an image of a woman using a power tool um, that we could actually utilize. Now, the paid version of ChatGPT is linked to something called Dolly, which is D-A-L-L-E, which is what creates the image for you. But it's a great tool that if you're looking for materials or things of that nature to look out for. Now, the other thing you have to think about too, one of the caveats is that there's a little bit of bias in, in AI. So there may be a little gender bias or ethnic bias or things of that nature. Because notice when I said, show me a woman using a power tool, it definitely gave me a younger, extremely attractive woman using a power tool. Yeah. And now I could have said, give me someone a little bit older or something of that nature. I was very general in my um, request. So you just want to keep that in mind when you're thinking about uh, what you're looking for, what it's giving you back. You just don't take everything as gospel or just say, well, that's all I can do. Just really try to get more specific in your prompts and it'll give you more information that you need or the right information that you're that's looking for. That's really interesting because I would think it would help people who are, let's say, procrastinating on writing a report or putting together a plan, a starting point. Yes, it's great for brainstorming and it's a great for a starting point, but you just wanna make sure that you don't take it as gospel. Um, you know, it, it's, it's giving you ideas, but you know, generative AI is pulling information from all across every particular or type of resource that's available in the internet. So you want to make sure that you're infusing your own voice, your human voice, adding that human touch, articulating it in your own way, because it's very obvious at times when people are giving you AI generated materials. So use it as a brainstorming tool, but don't use it to replace your voice or replace your own intellectual ability. Just use it as, as that kind of um, um, tool, because it's a great tool to brainstorm and to give you ideas yeah. that in case you're stuck, but you can become over dependent on it. So, you know, just be careful about that as well. Yeah, uh, you say um, it actually could create create new jobs for folks. 
Well, it has created new jobs. Actually, there are jobs out there like AI ethics officer or AI trainer or prompt engineer. I mean, there have been a lot of jobs that have been created. If you can really understand the uh, the principles of AI, learn how to use it correctly, you can really use it to create um, new roles within your organization or to be hired for new roles in other organizations. I did a quick scan even before I came on and LinkedIn, there's about 39 positions right now that are open for people who are in AI to either be an ethics officer, an AI manager, an AI trainer, or a prompts engineer. So it has opened up, it's, it's very popular. I mean, AI was more quickly adapted than the internet was. So there are so many people who are utilizing AI that people wanna make sure that we're using it uh, sensibly and ethically, wow. which is very important to make sure, again, people are being honest and open and sharing their information. Yeah. Um, so there's so some just things to think about when you're using AI. And people are using it also in the career world. You know, you can input, you know, things. Um, I was just talking with Leslie earlier. People have been inputting their resume, for example, and asking for interview questions. What people do wrong sometimes is just to tell AI to create my resume. It will absolutely create a resume for you. It may not be your resume, right. but it will create a resume for you. So you really just want to be careful again about how you're using it and be careful about inputting private information. Because again, anything that gets placed into AI becomes available to everyone across the world using AI. Oh. So be very careful, yes, about inputting anything that's personal that you would not want to disclose or show to anyone out in the public. Okay, and, and haven't there been issues like with students in college using AI to write their papers and not oh even reading it or going through it before they hand them yes. in? It is, it is so obvious that they're using AI. Actually, my brother is um, a, a professor at, at a, a local college here, and it, it always makes him laugh when he gets those papers because it's very obvious. There's certain phrases that AI uses to open up statements or to talk about certain things. So it's really obvious that you're using AI. Yeah. And if you have written anything at all in your college that shows your level of writing, and then all of a sudden you produce this high quality, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, professor level yeah. paper using AI, it's pretty obvious yeah. that that wasn't you that submitted it. So again, it is not designed to replace you or to pr uh, replace the human mind right. or your own voice or ability, but it is an exceptional tool that can get you jump started, save you a tremendous amount of time and energy to focus on things that matter and to give you ideas that you may otherwise not have thought about. Yeah. So the idea is to augment human capabilities, not to replace human capabilities. Wow, this was fascinating. Carol, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right.